What's up guys, it's John Reeves live and today we're going to be doing another BTS reaction. This one in particular is a JK song called Stay Alive and it is for his birthday today. He is officially turning 25 today. That's freaking awesome. He's such a young dude to accomplish so freaking much. So in the comments today, I would love it if you guys not only put happy birthday JK, but put one thing that you guys really appreciate about him in the comments as well too. This will be the place that we accumulate all those positive positive things and send it to him as a birthday wish from army bots to jk happy birthday now let's get into your reaction this is the stay alive lyric video three two one boom i love the music in this already that sounds really pretty have me at cello These lyrics, like I know I'm not talking much, but I'm just really trying to find out like what he's trying to tell us with his lyrics. I'm really liking this. I'm relating to it a lot. I like that run in the back. There's some lines that they say in Korean. It sounds absolutely beautiful. The rhyming structure of it. I love that so much. It's so good. I love that melody. So sometimes there's songs where the lyrics are completely blindsiding to me. Like, I honestly didn't expect that to be a song about something like that. Not necessarily positive where he was coming at from it, but like sometimes you're just going through a lot of stuff with yourself and you've got somebody that you can rely on that will like really kind of bring you out of your, your own self, your own darkness. I think that's what he's talking about in this song. It's just like, please stay here with me. Please be here forever because I need you. I need you in my life. 
life. I think he could be talking about army. He could be talking about a person. That's kind of what I'm getting out of this song. Y'all let me know what your thoughts are on the lyrics, but it's hitting me pretty good today. Like just a ton of stress in my normal everyday life. And so whenever I get to do these reactions, I get to read through the comments and stuff. Whenever I'm doing like live streams and hanging out with people, it takes me away from all of the IRL stresses that I have. So the please just stay alive for me is like that. My community, my people here right now. I love this. This is what I'm working towards. And for me, that's my please just stay alive. So that's how I'm relating to this song. So this is something new for me. I've never done one like this before, but it's called Seven Fates and it's a promo video. So let's get into that one right now. Swipe it. That looks beautiful. Does he really skateboard? Because I really skateboard, and I freaking love that. That would be awesome if he does. I'm pretty sure that's Goofy Foot, which is what I do as well, too. Me and JK are left-handed. What? Possibly. This is so cool. Oh, that is so beautiful. Can we just talk about something really quick? I'm a huge fan of jackets. I freaking love them, and I love every single one that I've been seeing these dudes wearing right now. Jeez, they're nice. <laughs> Jacket. The anime that's in this, is this an actual anime? Because it's great quality and it looks very interesting. It looks like something I'd be interested in. Look how well it's shot, that's so ridiculous. All right, okay. so that was absolutely freaking beautiful. I love the animation of that. All of the anime looked really, really clean. The song fit that very well. It almost, I don't know, was the song written for that? This one is gonna be something really interesting. I wanted to do this on its own, like do its own video for this, but I feel like it works here as well too. So this one is actually gonna be JK, the main vocalist of BTS by Ida S. So let's get into that video right now. This is a little bit of a long one, but Hop into it. Three, two, one, go! Damn, you don't need no auto tune, dude. Um, clips like this, but the clips like this, Jungkook singing live like this into just his cell phone camera. No mm -hmm. special fancy effects, no special fancy microphone, nothing, just his voice, just the camera. This is how you tell if someone's a real vocalist. Yes, I've said that so many times. Wow, what notes are those? Yeah. Jeez. Oh, you know, he's just hitting an F5. 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 Nothing like, big. No Nothing big deal. Big. That's insane in full voice. Wow. That is an F5. That's like higher than I've heard most males sing in any pop song today. You hear that? That's like auto-tune. So much control. Do you guys realize how precise this is? <laughs> BTS 
뭐 내가 최고 내가 무슨 엄청 어려운 그런 노래를 막 음. 그렇게 한건 아니지만 어떤 내 스타일이 있다 보니까 그거를 어 그거를 이렇게 한 80% 정도만 구현을 하는 경우가 많은데 실제 음반에 나왔을 때 정국은 완전히 거의 모창처럼 다 캐치해가지고 하더라 Ah, oh, see, that's cool. That's really cool in a producer. 그걸 표현해내는 그 스킬이 되게 엄청나다고 생각을 했고 유독 생각나는 건그 정국의 그 보컬 그 표현력 그 캐치하는 거와 그걸 진짜 구현해내는 능력이 되게 인상적이었고. He's only 13. That still blows my freaking mind. 아, 건물도 너무 높고 도로도 막 오차선 막, 막 이렇게 있고 너무 크고 무서웠어요. 처음에 딱 서울 왔을 때는. <웃음> 뭔가 이제 여기서 나 스스로 어떻게 살아가나 저 숙소 들어와서 한몇달 한 됐나? 엄마 보고 싶어가지고 <웃음> 편의점에서 막 컵라면 먹으면서 보고 싶어서 울었어요. 어. <웃음> 그냥 데뷔하고 나서 보니까 메인 보컬로 나왔는데. How terrifying would that be just to be debuting in a band that just has so much going for it already in the first place, but being the main vocalist for that? Did they pitch it to him like, "Hey, would you like to be the main vocalist for BTS?" How did that work? Does anybody know? 다른 팀들은 메인 보컬이나 사람들은 진짜 노래 너무 잘 부르고. 진짜 하루 24시간 중에 내가 노래 부를 수 있는 타임이면 그냥 무조건 다 노래 부르면서 See that's awesome. That's what it takes to be that good like jeez. 이제 정국이가 빠지면 되게 데미지가 세요. 물론 10명 누가 또 그렇지만 정국이는 어쨌든 역할 메인 보컬을 담당하고 있고 퍼포먼스적으로도 본인이 센터에서 굉장히 중요한 축을 담당하는 파트가 굉장히 많은 친구거든요. 정국이가 빠지면 대체가 안 된단 말이에요. 정우 씨, 당신이 없었으면 방탄소년단은 없었습니다. 아, 그렇습니다. 네. 아시잖아요. 네. 아, 그리고 또 이제 여러분들, 여러분들을 만날 수 있었던 거. 아, 이거 내가. 예. 한국에서 제가 들은 목소리 중 가장 최고인 것 같습니다. 오! 와, 뭐, 아, 정국이. 뭐, 일단 그 엄청난 재능으로. 다른 댄스하고 방탄 소년단에 어, 기부를 해줘서 너무 고맙고 <웃음> 어, 너 때문에 우리 그룹이 이렇게까지 올라올 수 있었던 것 같아 너무 맛있어 너는 no. 누가 말해도 내가 이때까지 Jeez, that's a huge compliment. That's freaking awesome. 어, 앞으로도 어, 어, 아 あ、ちんまちんのね。ちんもで。あ、に、こういう質問。ちゃんと聞けた。ブンブンよ。違う。だって、オッケー。いや、ちょっと、ウェブ作業とかもやるし。で、オッケー。いや、ちょっと、ウ
저는 어쨌든 제가 좀 가지고 있는 장점이라고 생각해요. 음. 하고 있는 것 같아요. 막 전문적으로 내가 음. 발성이 완벽하다는 건 절대로 아니지만 음. 어쨌든 제가 보컬 레슨을 음. 예, 연습생 때부터 지금까지 안 해본 건 아니지만 많이 안 했던 게 음. 발성을 음. 고치려고 하면 I think one thing that I really love about these videos is it's like a podcast kind of, but they're talking with one another. So they already have like a really good relationship and they're really open with one another. So even though it is kind of like in a podcast setting kind of in a sense, they're very open in the conversation. So I think that's really cool. I like that. 발성적인 부분을 계속해서 그냥 제 스스로 보완을 시키는 거지 음. 이거를 발성을 잡고 제 색깔로 하기에는 이게 사람이 워낙 이제 버릇이 되다 보면은 음. 고치가 너무 힘들어서 음. 일부러 I like that a lot by the way not taking lessons on purpose 시간 투자해서 음. 연습한 경우가 되게 많죠. Dang, that's cool. Jeez, look at those credits. Oh my God. That is freaking awesome. That's impressive. Okay, even before it actually happens, I just want to note that I've said this numerous times that I love his backing tracks, and I've said that before I even knew that this was a thing. I didn't know that a lot of people already had pointed that out, but I freaking love it. So it shows how obvious he is good at this. Dang, those were getting really high too. This is the first song that I've actually even heard on this list, but I do love his parts in this. I can be going through a really hard time and hear this song and then I'm just like, okay, all right, thank you. He's got such a unique backing style. It's actually extremely difficult to do what he's doing like he's pretty much putting leads far in the background backing tracks but he's doing like these really cool melodies over top of the song and it just fills it out so perfectly he's doing that 
and he does it really well. Like those are often the parts and songs that stick out to me. JK is kind of like a master of doing that, and I love that. God, it's so pretty. That is beautiful. He does a lot of stuff on this song, but dang, it's so cool. So there's actually some really beautiful harmonies going on. Yes, I love uh, when they do breakdowns like this. Play uh, what these harmonies are doing. So this first set of harmonies. Hmm. Second one. Dang. All right, so third one. And the fourth one. And together, they glue together and just sound beautiful. Whoo! Love that. Like, that. that is... There's only one other artist that I know that does that really, really, really well like he does, and that is Billie Eilish. She actually absolutely crushes it. Like, listen to Ocean Eyes and the harmonies in there. There's a lot of studio breakdowns just like this one for that song. And holy crap. But this is freaking awesome, too. I would love to see his outtakes and see some of the stuff that he wanted to put in there or thought about before he ended up finalizing on this. Because you can see the differences in the waves there. Even though they link up, that's where pauses are natural in the vocal pattern. But you can see how different all the, the waves are. So it's not just something that they copy and paste it and then put an effect on to change the pitch. Those are actual individual uh, vocal tracks. So he actually recorded a vocal track for each one of those. And that's really cool to see that. Incredible uh, vocal production right there. Yeah. Uh, so... <laughs> oh, yes. Nice. I like that echo effect they have. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Dang! Jesus! Good lord! He's like, hold my beer. Let's check this out. God, that was great. <laughs> that was freaking awesome. Wind 
Jeez, it's gonna be so high. That's rough. That would be a hard one hit. <laughs> yeah, that's what I like about him live too. He just does ad libs and crushes it. Let me just say this too. There's a fine line between doing ad libs live and whenever you've got seven different vocalists trying to really kind of like have their own parts, not stepping over their toes. And I feel like he does a really good job of like Jin just then had a really nice moment and he didn't touch it at all. He just kind of let him do his thing and then he kind of accented around it. So he knows when to do it and when not to do it because like, I don't know. I think it would be really easy to kind of like develop an ego, especially if everybody's like, you're the main vocalist, you're the best vocalist I've ever heard in my life, but he doesn't have that. I think that's really an admirable thing, and that's something worth talking about, too. That's beautiful. That is my favorite vocal line that he's done, my favorite run. He fills up so much space with his backtracks. That is awesome. Oh. Dang, you can hear his breathing and stuff there too. Dang, you seem good. Jeez, that is beautiful. It's so cool to see them practicing like that. That's so crazy, I think. What? <laughs> mm. 
めっちゃ何で Dang, he hit that perfectly. That was so freaking cool. I know that we've been suggested to watch this a couple of times. I'm so glad that we finally did. Like, that was freaking awesome. It was really cool to see how much he actually puts into the band, like how much his voice actually adds to the live performance as well, too. And that's a lot of stuff I really never knew or even thought about. Like, I don't know. They really did a great job of spotlighting that. Again, guys, I'd like to say a big happy birthday to the guy himself, JK. Thank you so freaking much for all that you've done for ARMY, for all that you've done for BTS, and everything that you do behind the scenes that we don't even know about. I think it's freaking awesome and it just speaks volumes to your character, sir. So happy birthday, JK. From me to you, from freaking ARMY bots to you, happy birthday. Thank you all for watching this video. Be kind to one another out there. Spread some positivity. And if anybody needs anything at all, all of my socials are at John Reeves Live. And I will catch you all next time. Freaking toodles!